Hello guys, welcome to this series of video lectures on a very important concept in C programming called as pointers in C. Pointers are very powerful concept in C programming. So in this in the series of video lectures, I'll be talking about various concepts of pointers along with the we'll be discussing the hands-on like we'll be writing programs on various concepts to demonstrate the various concepts of pointers. In this particular video, I will be talking about the basics of pointers. So let us dive in. What is a pointer? Pointer is a variable which stores the address of a memory location. So pointer is a variable that can store the address of some other variable. Or it can store the address of an array. It can even store the address of a structure. Pointer can store the address of any memory location. Even it can store the address of a function. So as a thumb rule, just remember that pointer is a variable, like any other variable, which stores the address of a memory location. Now let us talk more about memory location. Now computer's memory is composed of collection of millions of bits. Now you know what is a bit, right? Each bit can hold two values, either 0 or 1. But accessing computer's memory in terms of bits is not very much useful because uh, we can't store a wider range of value in a single bit. So, uh, the bits are grouped together to form something called as a memory cell. Now memory cell in a modern day computer is consisting of, it's a combination of 8 bits. So collection of 8 bits or 1 byte is called as a memory cell. So I can say that computer's memory is, you know, consisting of, is composed of a collection of, instead of saying collection of bits, I can say collection of memory cells. So this box is, each box is a memory cell. Now there are many memory cells inside a computer's memory. Okay. Now each memory cell, so this is, this box is called as a memory cell. So these boxes are memory cells. Each memory cell is of one byte. Now just remember that each memory cell is in modern day computer each memory cell is going to have a unique address okay so this is called as byte addressable so all modern day computers are byte addressable meaning each meaning each memory cell is going to have a unique address so let me assume that the starting address of this memory cell is 100 the next one would have the address 101 because they are sequentially arranged next one is a 102 103 104 105 106 and so on now let's let's take an example of a character variable so if i if i write this if i write care a is equals to x. What happens inside a computer memory? Now, compiler allocates a memory cell, a memory cell for a character A. All of you are aware that character will take one byte. Right? So, so how many memory cells does A require? Because it needs one byte, it needs one memory cell so one memory cell is reserved for you know this character named a so let me assume that the compiler allocates the first address that is 100 for a okay so this is this this is decision is taken by the compiler you need not worry about which address will be allocated for my variable compiler does it for you so this memory cell is now named as A and the content of this memory cell is X. 
fine so now let me consider let me create one other variable called as uh, a sorry b which is the integer and let it store the value 20 okay now let me assume that uh, integer takes four bytes okay so if integer can either be four bytes or two bytes it depends upon your computer's architecture okay so if it takes four bytes how many how many memory cells does it does it require it requires four memory cells because each memory cell is of one byte so it needs four memory cells so four memory cells will be reserved for a so let let let, let the starting memory starting address that is allocated for b let it be 101 okay so let, let the starting address be 101 so it will reserve 4 for a so we'll store 101 2 3 and 4 so all these four boxes will be reserved for the variable a sorry variable b so the starting address this is b okay the starting address for this one is 101 so whenever i mean b I am actually storing this entire value 20 in this, you know, in this particular uh, four collection of four four memory cells that is an integer. I hope this this concept is clear. So while talking about pointers, just remember three things: that is, a variable name. You will have got the address and the content so if i just zoom this out here looks something like this a x and this is 100 so in this example for the first one for this one the variable name was a so a is the variable name the address of that variable is 100 zero, zero, look at this this is 100 this is the address and the content is what is inside that box what is the stored in, inside that is the content so the content of a or content of 100 is nothing but the value okay the value that's inside that is x for the next variable b Okay, the variable name is B. What is the address? So B actually is having the four addresses starting from 101 and goes till 104 because it has having four bytes. 101, first byte, 102, second byte, 103, third byte, 104, the fourth byte. Okay, so whenever I, I talk about address, I am talking about the starting address. So if I just have got the address, the starting address that is 101, okay i can catch hold of all these because they are sequential so whenever i say address of a b that is 101 okay and what is the content what is inside b the value that is 20 okay so whenever whenever you are you are having talking about pointers just remember these three things the variable name what is the address and the content now let's talk about uh two important operators that is uh, used for you know, four pointers very frequently so these two operators are called as ampersand or called as address of operator and this is asterisk or you know, indirection operator okay now let's take an example so if I declare a variable x and it is having the value 5 inside the computer memory it will reserve a box for me okay this box is consisting of four memory cells each of one byte let the starting address be 1000 so 1000 1001 1002 and 1003 is reserved for this variable x Okay, so 1000 is the starting address, so I can write 1002, 1003. I'm assuming that integer takes 4 bytes and the value inside is 5. 
so if for this example address is 1000 the content is 5 and the name is x so if i print x what does it print if i print a variable by default it will print the content so what is the content of x that is 5 so this particular print will display the value 5 now what if i would like to display the address that is 1000 to, to get the address of any variable, I can use this ampersand operator. So if I do, instead of writing x, if I write uh, something like this, so this is not print, this is print f in C, okay? So if I write print f, percent is D. Now if I want to print the address of x, what I need to do is I need to print ampersand x. So ampersand x would give me the address of x. So in this case, this should print, technically this should print uh, 1000, but you may get a warning in your GCC compiler if you do this. Okay, I'll talk about this later on, but technically you should get the address of X, which is nothing but 1000. All right, now this is the operator, asterisk is the operator, which will help you to declare a pointer. As of now, we have not created a pointer. Now let's create a pointer using asterisk. Now let's create a pointer named P and make it store the address of variable X. So how do you create a pointer? So for creating a pointer, for creating a normal variable, I'll do int P. Now P becomes a normal variable. If I want to create a pointer, what I need to do is I need to just add asterisk. If I do int star P, now p becomes a pointer okay so it will create a box for me this is also a box okay and this will have some address so let it let it be 2000 okay name of this box is p now this box the content of this box will be the address so as of now it is having nothing okay now if i want to make p store the address of X, what I do is now I need I can do P will have how I, how do I get the address of X I have to do ampersand X so the address of X would be stored in P so address of X is nothing but 1000 is stored in P all right so what does this mean this means this means 1000 it will be is the address of x which is stored in p so i can say that this p is pointing to x okay so this p is called as the pointer and it is pointing to something this something is called as the pointy so pointer points to a pointy okay now if you if you just look at it closely this was the normal variable Inside the box, the content was the value. In this case, this is the pointer. The content of the pointer is the address. Always remember, content of the pointer is the address. Now, if I print P, what does it do? So, if I just write this statement, printf percentage d and write p so what should we technically print i told you last time whenever i write p it should print the content of p so what is the content what is inside p p is a pointer always the content of p is the address so this would print the value 1000 because the content of P is this one, which is 1000. If I print this, what does it print? Print F percentage D ampersand P. So I'm trying to print address of P. So address of P is 2000. So this would print 2000 because address of P is 2000. Now, can I print? 
5 this 5 using p and the answer is yes you can okay so remember last time i've told you there's one more use of asterisk so whenever i hit an asterisk to a pointer whenever i apply asterisk to a pointer it will go to the address that it is holding and give me the value that that address is pointing to so if i do now if i print something like this if i do this printf percentage d asterisk p and remember this is different with this now this p is already already p has already been made as a pointer okay so this is making p as a pointer so this makes p as a pointer as a integer pointer this is already being done here now if i come this this is line number one line number two line number three line number four line number five line number six and line number seven now i come to line number seven if i do asterisk p now p is a pointer if i do asterisk to a pointer so if I do asterisk to a pointer, it will follow the address that it is holding and give me the value that it is that at this address is having. So it will follow this address that is 1000. The value is 5. So it will give me the value 5. So asterisk P would be 5. 